Family gatherings would happen every holiday. There would be times where I'll be sober and not sober, either drunk or high as a motherfucker. I try my best to hide the way I act whenever I wouldn't be sober at a family gathering, but sometimes it would be hard, and I'm gonna tell you a little story of when I couldn't hide being high. It was a Christmas Eve morning, and I had to go to a family gathering at my aunt's house. That means there are gonna be little motherfuckers running around, and deals trying to talk to me in Spanish, while my white ass don't even know Spanish. I fucking hate that shit. You ever grow up very differently than your own race? You try to talk to a family member that knows the language that you're supposed to know because of your race, but somebody didn't want to teach you because they were too lazy to do shit and let you speak in fucking English and now have no connection with nobody in the family. Moving on. That morning, I hit up one of my friends, Nathaniel, and I told him if he had any joints. He answered, Uh, let me check. Um, no. Um, you got any pens? Let me check. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Fuck. Shit. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, no. Damn, any edibles? Oh, yeah, I got one right here. Uh, how much for it? Damn, boy, you don't even want to know what this shit is. It's pretty strong shit. I said how much? $25. I went to his house and he came out with a big ass brownie wrapped in plastic. You better not lace this shit. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just eat half of it. I'm telling you right now, only half. Mom, whatever you do, don't open the door for no one tomorrow. Is it because of that brownie that sent John to the hospital? Shh, he's outside. I went home and just like Nathaniel told me, only eat half of it, so I did. All right, cool. Let's go to the family gathering. I told my cousin to pick me up, and she did. She took me to the house, and everyone was there. I walked in, and I said hi to everyone, then sat down on the couch and chilled. I checked the time to see how long ago I took the brownie, and it's been 30 minutes already. I was not feeling anything. So, fuck it. I took the other half. Might as well, huh? I remember one of the little kids running around saw my brownie and was like, Oh my god, you got brownies? Can I get some? Uh, sure. Here you go. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh... I didn't, do, I didn't fucking do shit. Nobody seen me eat the fucking brownie. I ate the whole thing. Not even 30 seconds go by. I laid my head back and boom. The feeling of high was stronger than I fucking expected. The room started looking a little yellow and the way everyone was in the room got me anxious. I got up and I remember my deal started coming to me. Ah, oh, fuck. This is not a good time to talk right now. Hola, mijo. Como estas? Hola, amor. I mean, uh... Hola, pio. Está bien, mijo? Mm, no, okay, pues. Gracias por todo, tío. Pero me necesito a bajar uh, a la baños. I don't know what the fuck I just said, but all I know, I said bathroom. On my way to the bathroom, my little nephew held my hand, pulled me to him, and told me, Phoenix, where are you going? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Phoenix, why are you going to the bathroom? I need to pee really quick. Phoenix, I need to go first. Just hold on for a second. Phoenix? Phoenix, nothing. I gotta go. <laughs> I go to the bathroom and I start pasting back and forth. The more I think that the world looks yellow, it becomes more yellow. What the fuck does weed have to make you think so much? It's one of the reasons why I don't smoke no more. I sat down on the toilet and told myself to calm down. Fuck. But the other half of the brownie, what if that shit... I passed the fuck out. I woke up to my brother banging on the bathroom door. I got up, opened the door, and walked out. I looked at the time, and I guess I was in the bathroom for about an hour. I go outside to a bright-ass world and threw up. I was high for a fucking week. I'm never taking edibles ever again. That shit really got me off my ass. Moral of the story. Don't take edibles. That shit is on another level. It's stupid how it's not the same as smoking, but I hate out-of-body experiences. I don't fuck with that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.